How are you guys doing? Welcome over here to the channel. This video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. I'm out here on my place. I thought we'd do an update video. It's been a, it's been a little while. You know, I don't know. It's been a couple months since we've gone out here and actually looked at the lake that I had built. If you guys are new to the channel, quick, quick little rundown there. I bought this place, original 200 acres. It had a four acre pond on it. I was able to build out to like a 25 acre lake onto it. So that's what I did. I punched it out. If you guys want to see a clip of that, here it is. There she goes. Man, that ain't that big, is it? Look at this. All just flowing. So we punched it out. We let it drain for like two weeks almost. And then they restarted the process of building the dam. So I, like I said, it's been like three months or so. It's filled up one time all over the brim. We're gonna get the drone out and show you guys exactly what it looks like today. I put feeder fish in here and bass last spring. So I mean, we're like almost to a year to the date. I think it was about, I think it was last March when I put it in. So we're gonna do a little bit of a test today. We're gonna see where these fish are sitting at. They're gonna be bigger than what we put them in here clearly, but I know where they should be, the F1s. I put 200 F1s in here. I think it was 200 and then like 1800 Northern strain. So I want those fish to uh, breed together and whatnot. That's pretty much that. This was the original 200 acres, which is actually Gene Autry's ranch. You can see, look at that right there. So I bought Gene Autry's old ranch. Don't know who he is. You guys can look him up and whatnot. But I bought it over here in Gene Autry, Oklahoma. Anyway. I bought the, the the land that was next to it, which was roughly like an additional 800 acres and had a house on it. Ever since then, I'm there. I think I put that video up. I've actually pieced off almost all of it, and now I'm I'm left with 380-ish acres in this lake. So I've I've actually worked it out, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is that what I want to do outside of? YouTube, because we don't know how long this is gonna last. I mean, it's YouTube, I've been doing this for almost seven years, and this channel, I'm trying to revive it now, trying to really put, this is my last oorah into it this year. I've, I'm, I've invested a lot of money into this next project, and it's for YouTube, so hopefully, hopefully it'll pan out. Let's take a look at these cows real quick. I've got, I don't know how many cows out here, but I've got a bull that's probably been doing his job. Oh yeah. Cows. It is looking a little bare out here, I'm not gonna lie. They've done a pretty good job. Here's my long horn. If y'all are wondering why we're not in my truck right now, the, the truck I have, my normal F-250 is actually in Florida and my, the truck I just got is actually getting some work done currently. So we are actually in Charles's room. Take a look how these cows look. Good amount of calves. She's pregnant. Calm yourself. No, they all look good. Dude, I see one, two, three. I see six calves over there. We just cut up their cousins. Oh yeah, yeah. On the uncut side of things, <laughs> I did. We actually just butchered one on the uncut side of things. We could, I think it was a uh, 15, 1600 pound steer that I had bought at auction. We actually just killed and, and butchered it. <coughs> yeah, she knows. Just did this like an hour ago. Five calves. There's got to be more. Yeah, there's there's another one right there. Six. <laughs> She's about to drop. She's gonna drop. Here's another big ass one running. Oh, good. The bull's doing his job. Each one of these calves, we're gonna get, I don't know what, $750, $800 for. Maybe maybe up to 1000 depending on how big they are. You definitely do not make money in cows. Just gonna throw that out there. I, Gabe told me today that cattle prices are good, so maybe we'll take 10 or so to auction. Maybe make uh, eight to 10,000 bucks would be pretty nice. Yeah, look at that guy's, look at that guy's testicles. Damn, son. So I know all of you guys and gals are now currently sitting at your home, not sitting on the boat with me. Like I'm sitting here, I got a game for you, and it is Fishing Clash. So currently I'm actually sitting here in Florida. Yes, that's right, I'm in Florida. This is how easy it is. Look, press cast, test that sucker guy out there, and Oh baby, we got us a big one. Give me a sec, gotta catch me this thing. I'm about to catch a fish on my phone from my boat. Astounding. What is it? Oh my god. Common snook. No biggie. Blah, 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 blah. But if you guys seriously are looking for something to do at your house while you're chilling right now during some cold weather and you're looking to fish, I got the game for you. Like I'm telling you guys, this fishing class will be linked at the very top of the description. Use my gift code FISH WITH LUNKERS to get a special reward. That is right. Fish with lunkers, all caps, all one word. Use it, you guys will get a three star rod to get more bonuses on your rod. A Florida Pro license, that's right, to increase your speed catch and get more points overall. 50 luck power ups to get you to fish what you want. 30 weight power ups to help you catch bigger fish. All this to a total value of 20 bucks. You guys, you guys literally will get this for free. It'll be linked at the very top of the description. Go download this game, Fishing Clash. To read in the gift code, you must be following three easy steps. And the big thing here is it's available only for new players. 
So I'm telling you guys real quick what they actually have on this game you guys can go to. So places you may have wanted to visit, it may not be able to afford it, don't worry, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. You guys can go to Florida, you guys can go to Lake Gunnersville, you guys can go to the Kenai River. What else? We got an Amazon River for the Loch Ness Monster. You guys can literally go to the Mediterranean Sea, the Great Barrier Reef, all over the world. You can do it from sitting at your own house, on in, in a boat, in your garage, on the toilet, it does not matter. Make sure to go to the very top of the description, click on it. Go download the game. If you guys are fishermen, fisherwoman, does not really matter, go download fishing class. Use the code Fish with Lunkers. Get a whole bunch of free stuff that are worth almost 20 dull hairs. Who doesn't want to do it? I love me some free stuff. So if competition is your thing, don't worry, you go head to head with players every week. Look, you guys have pressed duel, good to go. About to be versus somebody, oh, boom! If that's your type of thing, which it is mine. Choose my fish for the duel, sheephead. Selection made. About to get that AS. Got a blue runner. Hell yeah, I got me a sheephead. I got a big old fat sheephead. Go do yourself a solid, go download Fishing Class, It'll be linked at the very top of the description. Use code FISHWITHLUNKERS to get all the free stuff. Hey, I'm telling you guys, it's fun. Hang out in your house. It's, it's fishing from your home. I know you guys want to do it. It's free. Free to do it. Why wouldn't you do it? So I do love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, go check them out. It'll be linked at the very top of the description. Thank you so much, Fishing Class, for sponsoring this video. Not even close. Holy sh**. We're still down water. So this is coming up on, this used to be the dam right here. And this was the original four acre pond right here. This is the dam that's... It's just not, God, that sucks. Oh, look at all them duck. Is that a decoy? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really realize these cows have done a, so I put them out here, not for like some crazy tax incentive or anything, because Oklahoma's not real, they don't have big property taxes here. I did it because of this. Look at this, this is like, you pay to have a lawn mow. Look at, look at this. I think I've got 25, probably about 30 head right now is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll some, some drone stuff for you guys and that was just a little piece I wanted to say. Kind of crazy is we just threw the, the drone up and Charles is is, clear, is is flying it around right now. And I ain't, I've been coming out here for for a couple years. I haven't seen it personally all the way fold up. I'm gonna have to overlay an image for you guys and kind of draw where it's supposed to be because right now the water is down and it's down pretty significantly just because we haven't had a lot of rain here in Oklahoma. But I, it's just kind of crazy to me and how how big it really is. Like this is. When it's all filled in, it's it's 23 acres is what it is. So 23 acres of water is what you're seeing, kind of. I mean, you're probably seeing, I don't know, 19, eight, no, 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 not even that. Probably 18 acres right now of actual waters, which you guys are actually currently seeing. But I, it's just kind of, it's, it's kind of crazy to me on how large this thing is. And it's really, it's 23 foot deep. In, in the deepest point near the dam. And I built an island coming out of it. I don't know if you guys saw a lot of those videos or if you're new to the channel. So this piece right here, I don't know when I'm gonna sell this piece or if I'm ever gonna sell this. I will let you guys know. If I ever do plan on it, you guys will know. I don't know if anybody's even interested in it. So when I built this place out, I built it to be one of the best privately owned bass fisheries in all of Oklahoma. That was my goal. The, the stuff we put in here, the bass we put in here, the structure they have. I mean, if you go down there and look, the water clarity is extremely clean. It's got some good grass in it. This place was built out to be the best bass fishery privately owned in Oklahoma. What was my goal? Or be one of them. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever be, be able to be the best, but be one of them. Have quality fish, so. So I'm just gonna take one of our Guggen bait darts, these five inch darts. This is just California crawl. Some some extra ones I had laying around. This is a one of our half ounce click baits. I'm just gonna throw this around for today. Mainly just want to see what's actually in here and what the size has gotten to. Because it's been about three months or so. They should be pretty fat right now. But it, I don't know, we'll see. They may not eat, but today's pretty warm. I mean, hell, I got a t-shirt on. Tomorrow's going to be okay, and then it's going to be 27 again. Actually, up here, I think it's going to be like 23. So, the, hell, i am be honest with you guys, like two weeks ago, this thing was probably halfway frozen over. So we'll see. Mainly, I wanted to show you guys where the water level was at and I think it's sitting at like probably 
I'm gonna say 75%. Where I'm standing right now should be underwater. Like this whole thing should be underwater right here. So all this stuff you guys see down in here, all this, all these bushes right here, like that tree right there, that one that's barely sitting out of the water, that top of that will be out of the water. All this right here will be under. You can come through all this wood that we're about to walk down and just imagine you could throw a, a swim jig, a bladed jig, you can flip it all. Like this entire thing I built out so you can come down here and fish. There's not a wasted ounce of area. On that back side you guys saw where all the rock was way over there. I had all that rock put out, these long rock points, and in between them, we built those PVC things. So I tested that side of the lake is a little more, has one long clay point, like super long clay point. So that's like the deeper summer side. This is the more winter, or excuse me, the, the shallower spawn spring side. That's the idea. A lot of thought went into this place. And out in the middle, there's a hump that comes up to 12 foot on the very top. So it'll be about 12 foot under the very top of it and it'll just taper down to like 20. And it has huge boulders all over it. So we thought through it. A lot of time and a lot of money has been put in this thing. Jeez Louise, that's clean. Oh my God. Dude, did you see that? Please tell me you saw that. Oh, yeah. Dude, he came out from underneath that freaking that, that stick. That was awesome. First cast. See, that's why I'm telling you, I'm trying to build out the best fishery we can. Dude, that was awesome. Healthy. That's a healthy fish. There we go. Dude, they're so cold. Y'all can't tell me that's not a healthy fish. For as long as they've been in here, that's, I mean, body size. Like, look how fat it is all the way down to the tail. That's a good fish for what it is. Gosh dang, dude. We should come here during the spawn, not fish, I'm not gonna fish it, but come here during the spawn and just film. Like seriously, you know how cool that could be? Yeah. So right here, this is what's crazy is, this is like a hole, this rock point that comes off. There's a hole right there that is probably 15 to 20 foot deep right there. And then right here, it's like nothing. So they literally can just slide down and then come back up. I will, like I think you guys know this. I mean, if I don't end up selling this place, I'm gonna open it up and allow people to come and fish it. Just cause it's like one of those kind of places where I, I think, I don't know, I built it for people to enjoy and I will enjoy it myself. But I'd like to have a lot of other people enjoy it as well. Now these should be it shouldn't be the F1s, I don't think. Come on. Even that size fish, he's healthy. Healthy. It's almost like I want to throw almost on every single one of these pieces of brush. It's kind of nuts how clean this water is, honestly. Because when I when I was first building this place, I didn't think the water was gonna be that clean. And it is. Oh, I just had another one falling all the way up to the surface. You can see these fish just from a million miles away. This tree right here. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, all these trees. This makes me feel good. This makes let's keep walking this way. So like I said, this is most north. You know what? I'm just gonna chunk it out there in the middle and just see. There's some brush out there I can see the very top of. I give I give a handful of casts out there and see. But every single one of these bushes. I bet you I can catch a million, well not a million because there's not a million fish in here. We can catch pretty good fish all the way down here. This is great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I got it off. I was like, no, it's the only thing I got, no. So if I put all these fish in, what makes them want to go, which, you know, have you ever thought about like which one wants to go deep and which one wants to live shallow its entire life? Because I wonder if there's any fish out there. I wonder if they're just always going to live shallow on this place. I would, I would assume not because it's so clean. My kind of place, just go fish wood all day. Nothing else, wood, wood. Keep moving. Oh my, right there at the edge of the boat. Oh, he came on. He ate it like right there. I don't know why, but every single time I come here, I always catch one at the very edge of this boat ramp. I had a, I put a, um, what is this, a crushed concrete ramp all the way down from the hill. I, I mean, you could put a real boat in here, but 
mainly just because I would like to fish to this place with a real boat. But at the end of this thing, I know there's like a bunch of brush piles right there. For some reason, they're always sitting at the very edge of all this crushed concrete. This water is so clean. It's probably not the color I want to be using. It doesn't matter. So this is the spillway right here. The water will literally run to the backside, go down that hill into that draw, and down in the boss basin of that, uh, behind that creek, or behind the dam into that creek, excuse me. This is down on the dam. God, look how clean that water is, dude. Yeah, these don't look bad. Those don't look bad at all, man. Those are healthy. Those are healthy bass. Look how clean they are. Not all jacked up. I would assume they're not going to get all jacked up because no one's fishing for them. But I mean, that's that's over two pounds easy. You know, that's that's over two pounder. Healthy bass. Healthy, healthy bass. There's like these random clumps of grass. All through here, it looks like pond weed to me, but I don't really, I don't exactly know because it's dead brown. I mean, that the, literally there's clumps of grass everywhere on this end. This is the side that doesn't have a lot of wood right here. This is where we put all the rock and the man-made stuff. It's definitely not the bait to be using today. There's one. So they are on these rock, at least down here. That's a better one too. I'm really happy that every single one of these fish that we've caught has been has been healthy, like size wise. They may not be megas right now, but their body size is it's good. It actually, might be a little bit smaller one. This might be one of them. Northerns. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is actually. I think it is. Dude, these fish look great. He's up here in the rock. Rock point that we had built, sitting right here on the edge of this rock right here. Yeah, when I, when I originally had my thought process on this side, that side's for flipping, this side's for like throwing a crankbait or ain't literally anything else that's not weedless. There's a smaller one. Dude, this one was out there. This little dude right here was, oh, that is for sure. A, that's for sure 100% a northern strain. Like a million percent. And he choked it. Yeah, look at the color on this fish. Compared to the last few we've caught. See how it's kind of yellow? That is a northern strain bass. So I put northerns in here. This is good. The northerns that I put in here were not that big. But it's been a year, clearly. But That's good. He was sitting out here. And the first deeper fish we caught, baby, on a point. All the way down this thing are these. See this point that comes out? All the way down it on that left hand side are these things. Spent way too much time on them. And now look at them. They held up pretty good though. Uh oh. But now we're hooked up on all this. Here we go. This might be the end of it, folks. When the shit comes back at us, it's gonna fucking fly. Nope. <sighs> well, I just, I just donated my only lure to the lake. I will tell you guys one thing. If you guys do build a lake or a pond or whatever and you have a dam, you gotta think about irrigation and like when you plant, it takes longer than what you think to get it done. I mean, after a year, I mean, it is, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna erode. Erosion, that's the best way I put it. This side, I wasn't super worried about erosion, so I worried about that. And now we got to fix all this through here. Just come through with one day with a skid steer, flat it out, seed it, good. Right before a uh, mediocre rain. Not a torrential downpour though. This is like where the dam starts, right there. This is the dam. Huge, dude. The core is so big that I could drive my truck down into the core because they built dams inverted. So they go down first and it, they dug down so deep that I could drive, I drove my truck down into the core of the dam and I could walk across it, across the roof of my truck. And as always, thank you so much to Fishing Glass for sponsoring this video. There'll be a link at the very top of the description. Thank you so much and I will catch you guys in another episode. I'm out.
Big it. Oh!